Hi, my name is Tia Hollowood and I am co-author of the blog Trauma, a PTSD blog on HealthyPlace.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that drives me absolutely buggy and that is memory. I am the person who is notorious for losing their keys, not knowing what part of their purse they just put cash into. Um, I will ask someone a question and they will say, you know, you just asked me that or you asked me that three times already or I told you that the other day and on the on the most frustrating of occasions and these are usually when I'm under a great deal of stress as well, I'll just kind of get this fuzzy feeling and I'll be like thinking about, I don't know, Easter or Christmas or Thanksgiving or something and be like, did we just have that? Did we not? Is that coming? Very disturbing. Seriously happens to me. Um, I don't forget things like uh, how to drive to the store. I don't forget the names of my children. I don't forget um, the how to read, those basic things that, that go on um, for most folks. It's always something that is some new information that just doesn't carry over long term um, into, into my long term memory. And so I did a little research because, it, it, I don't know, it's been happening for a long time and it, and it spikes and goes back down. And sometimes at its worst, I'm just like, I got to find out what this is. Um, so I, I did. I looked around and one of the things that I found is that our hippocampus, which is part of our brain that's kind of right in the middle, um, is affected a lot by trauma. And in some studies where they looked at folks who have PTSD, even compared to folks who have anxiety disorders or, or panic attacks um, without the PTSD, is that the hippocampus looks different for those people who have, um, have been through significant trauma. And there is a memory component in there. The other thing I looked at, and I've been taking an SSRI for a very long time, and that is, I have to write it down every time, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. That's the class, class of my medicine. And I found some um, reports on that. Some indicated that, yeah, there, there were concerns over memory loss after a certain amount of time, but then other reports were like, Nah, come on, memory gets better, it's okay. So there isn't a whole lot of conclusive um, information as far as medication for me. But I think what helped most in this little research process for me is that stress by itself will impact anybody's memory. It doesn't matter if you have PTSD, it doesn't matter you know, if you have depression, it doesn't matter where it's coming from. Stress will affect anyone's memory makes them, you know, a little more frantic, a little more um, multi, you know, having to think about 10,000 things at once. It's harder for things to go into the long-term memory when you're stressed. You've got all that adrenaline going. You have a lot of things happening at once. It happens to everybody. The other piece that I learned that was very helpful for me is, like I saw, I talked about before, I might forget my car keys, but I don't forget how to drive. I might forget I asked my son something twice already, but I don't forget who my son is. Those are big distinctions in the memory concern area because you might forget about something, but you don't forget what that thing is for or the basic normal information about those things. And that kind of forgetfulness can fall in line with um, stressful situations and with some of those studies that have said that memory going from short-term into long-term is an issue for individuals with PTSD, individuals who've been through trauma. So that was very helpful for me to know. It was very helpful for me to realize that there's kind of this range of normal and even though it's frustrating, it's still sort of in there. You know, there's, there's a loss, but overall, it's okay. It's not, um, 
something that's going to make you run out and cause an accident, you know, you're, you're still able to function. It's just a matter of maybe having to ask things or write things down a few more times just to get that clarity. So that is what I came up with, and I hope that helps. Thanks. Bye.